Hey, yeah, it's Nax and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I've been getting a ton of messages asking me, Hey Snax, when's the next PC video coming out? And as some of you guys know, I've already started on my next build. But while that's quite not yet done, I figured I can make a separate video documenting one part of my next build. And that's the small modifications I'm making to my radiator. I gotta give my PC fam a little love and something something. So that's what we're doing. So I'm using the EK Surface Radiators, and this is the X360M. So this is the thickest surface radiator that they have. And the cool thing about the surface line is that you can take off the sides. So I'm just gonna have to unscrew the screws here, but you can already see it um, coming off. So there are two screws on this side and there's gonna be two screws on the other side as well. Uh, though I'm really excited for this experiment. It's bringing me back to my high school days where you just kind of like in the laboratory. Um, so what we're going to do is I actually already talked to EK and this is actually made out of, this is entirely stainless steel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the black coat. I'm going to use some good old elbow grease and then I'm going to try to nickel plate it so that it's going to match the aesthetic of the build that I had in mind. So after going at it with the sanding block for a while, I realized that it wasn't the most efficient way of getting the paint off. Knowing I had a couple more of these to do, I texted my super good friends at Blue Horse Studios and asked what I could use to make things quicker. I gotta say, it's a nice feeling for me knowing I can reach out to my friends for advice or help on stuff. So Ron and Dab, thanks and what's up? <laughs> I miss you guys! By the way, if you're interested in PC modding stuff, feel free to check out Blue Horse Studios' YouTube channel. He has some fascinating projects. So Ron texted back, Goof off. Goof off will take it right off. Me, being Filipino and new to America, never heard of goof off, so I thought he was either joking or describing how he was in middle school. But sure enough, it's a very real thing that strips paint off pretty easily. And apparently, it's highly flammable and toxic. No. I am your father. Say my name. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Where's my money, bitch? If you're gonna use Goof Off, you'd want to do it in a well-ventilated area. We do have a small problem. I've been following the instructions, but the coat of the paint is just too thick and it's not coming off. Usually, it should come off. The coat should come off if I do this. So, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna soak it. Oh yeah, look at that. It's working. I think we can fill it up actually. All right, guys. So this is it. As you guys can see, we were able to take the coat off much easier. And now for the leftover goof off, I'm just going to take that over to the paint store where they can proper, properly dispose of it. So we're back in the studio already and we got all of the paint off. But it, um, it, see we got all of the paint. So we're back in the studio already. It doesn't, you know, it's pretty murky. It's not even, it has this very satin -y finish. And it's not, it doesn't have that stainless steel mirror like finish that I was, that I want. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, sand it to even it out. And then we're going to polish and buff it so that we can attain the mirror like finish that I'm eyeing for. Okay, so we're going to start with a 220 grit. And it's not too heavy, it's just 220 so that we can even it out a little bit.
You guys probably can't see in the camera, but I'm actually also wearing a mask and some goggles because I don't want to inhale any of this. Okay now. So the next step is we're going to be polishing. And I've been doing a lot of research, been watching a lot of YouTube videos, and I've been consulting with a bunch of my friends who are way more experienced than me. And, okay, here's the thing. So I have with me here different, my different polishing compounds um, in terms of grit. So we're st uh, the lowest grit that I have is 400 grit. And then it goes all the way up to 200,000. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start off with the lowest grit and those are very coarse. And then I'm going to work my way up to 200,000 grit, which is basically microscopic at that point. But the key for us to get that very mirror-like and shiny finish is to really take our time with each grit and to be one with the polish. <laughs> like, like karate kid. Yeah. So we'll be like... Wow, you know, honestly, I've never watched Karate Kid. I just know of this, but we'll do Johnny Lawrence style. Yes. Oh, wait, no, he's the bad guy, right? We'll do the other kid. Daniel Russo! There we go. We'll do it Daniel Russo style. Wax on, wax off. I really have to watch Karate Kid. Maybe I should react to that. Wax on, wax off. done with the 400 grit and now we're going to wash this off and we're going to change the pad. We wouldn't want to use the same pad when we um, go up a grit. We're going to want to use brand new ones. Uh, we're going to move up to uh, the new X 600 grit after washing. It looks like matcha. Forbidden matcha. Looking pretty good. Um, whew, wait, that hurt my neck. It does, you know, even with your wrist, it kind of, you kind of have to stretch it out every now and then, especially if you're doing it five minutes at a time. So, yeah, I mean, you guys already know that. But this is looking pretty good. So, we're down, uh, we've done two levels already. We still have eight to go. So, I'm gonna pause it right here because I do have to go to work. Uh, so, we'll continue this later tonight or most like maybe tomorrow and we'll left off and finish up up until 200,000 grits all right guys we're back and I'm ready to rumble <laughs> all right so let's do a quick recap um so we've done three levels already the first level is 200 grit with the sanding block and then the, uh, the next two levels we used the polishing compound we did 400 and 600 grit and the side is looking pretty good. It actually has a mirror-like finish already. Um, however, if you guys take a closer look, it actually has some scratch marks on it still. So I'm excited because we're gonna keep polishing it all the way up to 200,000 grit. So the thing with the polishing compounds is that the higher we get and the smaller the granules get, the thinner the, scratches, the scratch marks will be which is what we're trying to do. So I've got my polishing compound over here and I've even got my Walter White mask. And not only do I get to look like Walter White, but I get to prevent having metal particles in my lungs. So it's a win-win.
Say my name. Okay, we are finally done. Time to wash this off. So we wanted to get a mirror-like finish for the sides of our radiator, and did we get it? Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. Ta -da! So yeah, it's looking really good, you guys. It's got that mirror-like finish. You can see your reflection. Um, now this isn't the final look yet, I will be nickel plating it, but keep in mind that the shinier it is, the shinier it's also going to be once you nickel plate it. Now I'm going to do uh, the nickel plate in a separate video and hopefully that video will come out within the next week or two. But don't get me wrong, like if I was going for a different look for my build, I would totally keep this look because it looks really pretty. So here you guys have it, as you can see, you can see me. <laughs> it's really late right now, that's why I'm <laughs> not making sense, but yeah. Look at how reflective it is. Muy bien. Just to give you guys an idea of the color scheme of my next build, here's what the fan looks like. I painted it black chrome. Obviously, the sides will look like a black nickel instead of the stainless steel, but honestly, I really love the stainless steel look as well. Maybe for my next build. So there you guys have it! Next up, we're gonna be black, uh, black nickeling. <laughs> we're gonna be nickel playing the sides, and then after that, we're gonna be doing the PC build video. So yeah, I can't wait. Anyway, I hope you guys had fun, and if you guys did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button so that you guys know when the next video is coming out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.